all the great legendary drum instructors of the 19th and beginning 20th century and their students realized that rebound is one of the most important, if not the single most important aspect in playing drums. People like Sanford Moeller, George Lawrence Stone, Billy Gladstone, and also Burns Moore were well aware of this phenomenon and they had a special place for that in their teaching strategy. In your PDF booklet, you'll find an original script of Jim Chapin about what Sanford Moeller called stop at the top. The stick should be able to bounce back to the starting position where it came from. It is said that the great Billy Gladstone had a different name for it, catching the bounce. George Lawrence Stone and later his master student Joe Morello referred to it as the free stroke, describing any sort of stroke that would end in the same position as it began. No matter if starting from a low or half or full position, the stick should just bounce back to the starting point. When practicing the following exercise, I would strongly recommend to use a mirror and carefully reflect on your movements and its several components. The way you hold the stick in detail will influence the rebound in a strong way. And for now, I would just recommend to hold the stick in a fashion that Sanford Moeller also referred to as the little finger hold. It almost comes out automatically when you throw the stick and catch it. Usually nobody comes up with the idea of catching it with forefinger and thumb. I'm not saying that this is wrong, it's just one of the many options of holding the stick. Also, endurance sometimes is more important than just speed. The effortless mastery of the exercises has a special significance. Wilfredo Reyes Jr. brings in endurance and stamina in his definition of good technique. I want to add to the technique uh, conversation that it's important for drummers to have stamina to practice uh, to have stamina because when you have to do a long show like a three-hour show have to do a lot of double bass drum fills solos you want to not be out of air or be tired so it's important that not only to have beautiful uh, technique with all the rudiments but to be able to to have consistency and have stamina and that's something that it must be practiced and developed as you do in sports to be able to last for a whole football uh, game and not be dead at the end of it is important. You should also differ between active and passive movements as I like to say. In the beginning it is hard to even trust yourself. Is the stick moving my fingers or is it just the other way around? Just like with the veterans that Moeller watched, endurance is the key aspect here. The longer you can play without feeling strain or tension, the closer you are to the real thing. Of course, you should also get a mirror, a metronome, pad, enough time, pen and paper, and most of all, patience for your daily practicing routine. Optimize and recheck your seating position, your position behind the instrument, and percussion legend Alex Acuna adds these important aspects by bringing in posture and relaxation into the game. A good posture on the drums, a good posture where you practice in the snare, a, a good grip of the well-balanced sticks, uh, especially when practicing or playing snare um, exercises, when sight reading snares lessons or um, books, um, reading the, the and expressing the proper dynamics of the exercises. So that way you become, become musical and uh, 
But everything has to be, again, everything has to be making it, making it easier, uh, be uh, in peace, be relaxed, and uh, so you can acquire a great uh, posture, relax, assurance, and conviction when you uh, practice and read. And I think that's something we all uh, have in common.